Now it's time for Lefties Losing It. And let's start Lefties with an anti-white film that is bombing in the box office. It is a bloodbath, folks. No one wants to watch this turkey. Let me play you a little bit from the film The American Society of Magical Negroes, that's the name, and see if you can work out why this hate fest is such a failure. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Sure. White people, when they feel uncomfortable. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why we fight white discomfort every day. Because the happier they are, the safer we are. Oh dear. Now let's look at how illegal immigrants in the US are capitalizing on the leftist laws in blue states and educating others to do the same. Mi gente, he pensado invadir una casa en Juney State. Ya que me enteré que existe una ley que dice que si una casa no está habitada, podemos expropiarla. If a house is not inhabited, we can seize it, he says. And that's precisely what has happened to this poor homeowner arrested for trying to reclaim her own house from squatters. You be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. How about that? A squatter standoff. A property owner confronts a group of people she says moved into her million dollar home in Queens and our cameras were rolling as dozens of officers showed up. Several people were taken away in handcuffs and one of those arrested may surprise you. Yes, the poor homeowner there was arrested because she's not allowed to change the locks of her own house to lock out these squatters living there illegally because, well, that's just the law. It doesn't matter if it's her property that she pays taxes on. She's in the process of selling it. No, he locked it. But she's been locked out. She claims squatters moved in on February 6 and refused to leave. What's it like being here knowing you can't go inside of your own home? It's enraging. It really is. In New York, squatters have rights after 30 days. By the time that someone does their investigation and they do their work and their job, will be well over the 30 days, and this man will have stolen my home, and now she's back. He's got no documentation. Just bills. So, Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being in, for being house, in my man. for being in my own home. And, and where's your lease? She's fighting the house. It's not her house anymore. My deed That's is current and away. legal. Arrested for unlawful eviction. She changed the locks on a man who claims he lives there. So how does this all end then? When do you leave? The way it ends is, is either she pays me my money that I put into the house, pay me the money and I'll leave, or send me to court and we deal with the judge in court. It's that simple. It's not that simple. It's a long process. Evictions can take close to two years to complete. You know, there's uh, enough uh, squatters and scumbags already in America. They don't need to be importing any more in. I'm pretty sure that dude wasn't an illegal immigrant. But uh, fancy that poor woman being arrested for trying to change the locks of her own house so these uh, interlopers uh, can't live there for free. Now, let's look at this next dude. Uh, he's called names and bullied for daring to enjoy his lunch when others around him are fasting for Ramadan. Look at this kufar. Everybody's on Ramadan. I know, I actually feel bad for eating. <laughs> and this guy's... I'm going to have to put this away and This guy's stuffing no, his up, face. Bro, watch up, watch up. <laughs> this guy just... Stop. He just sat here stuffing his face. Wow. And let's end lefties with this blast from the past, from the COVID era. Today, start working on not touching your face because one main way viruses spread is when you touch your own mouth, nose, or eyes. Mm -hmm.